Seiko, Montana, and uh, lived in Phillips County my whole life, except for some time to go to, go to school and uh, a little bit of a few years actually working in Yellowstone and in Valley County, but to come back to our family farm and ranch, I'm a third generation uh, farmer rancher. Um, and uh, Phillips County is a, a big county and there's a lot of diverse agriculture. Uh, we just recently started our first Farm Bureau chapter. Uh, it's not necessarily the first Farm Bureau chapter because in 1919 was the original first Farm Bureau chapter, but somewhere in the 1950s it, uh, uh, it closed down, I guess you could say. Uh, and Phillips had enough members and they decided they wanted to have their own county Farm Bureau, in which is we haven't had it go that direction. And, in quite a while and the county got active and they have some leaders in the county and that's what's so great you develop leadership in each county and we encourage that and we got a new one it's been about 20 years since that's happened but Phillips stepped up and they have about 65 members out there that is the Phillips County Farm Bureau there were current members in Phillips County but they had to participate in other counties and it was uh, it, it was tough though to get to the meetings and it was important that Phillips County had a voice in a grassroots organization um, that was that they had had a voice and could go to a meeting. So being held in Phillips County now, we have a voice in the strongest uh, farm and ranch uh, organization in the state. So.